more you're exposed to other cultures and the more you learn from other people, the more you can kind of look at how you live or I guess combine those and take kind of the best of everything that you've learned. Zach Jakes, I went to Durham University. I took political science, history, and economics. My name is Isaac Yang and I went to Milan, Italy. I studied business at Bocconi University. You meet people from all over the world as you travel and it helps you really be open-minded you get to really engage in conversations that you have never d had before in, here in Vancouver. My name's Alex. I went to New Delhi, India, and I studied political science and some history. This is one of the only times in, in our lives that we would have had a chance to do something like this. My name is Jackie Ewald. I went to the University of Cape Town in South Africa, and there I studied religion and history. The more you discover, the more you realize how little you know. Like the more places yeah. you go thinking you know things about the world, yeah. the more you realize how little you actually do know. My name is Karina Spialo and I went to Uppsala, Sweden on exchange. I took neurobiology, basic Swedish, and psychology. My name is Vivian. Um, I went to Japan. I studied Japanese, Japanese culture, Japanese politics, and Japanese what I found out to be like really, really important on exchange is to, is to kind of keep an open mind. When you go on exchange, you're forced out of your comfort zone to actually make friends. Employers really value that international experience and your ability to go into another culture and to be flexible and to adapt to your situations to succeed. Who I got to live with was pretty much people who I learned from the most out of the whole exchange. Uh, as a political science student here, I, I went to India again and um, we're often learning about the Kashmiri Indian relations or Pakistani Indian relations or, or, or just the geopolitics of that region in general. And all of the students there are from different parts of India so they bring great perspective on all of these issues and so it really helped to humanize the subjects that I'm learning about here in the classroom. A lot of anthropological theory is very western based so it was interesting to go to a place and study somewhere where you aren't like constantly having this western bias of European or North American thought. The, the professors have much more of a um, significant role in society so there's a great deal of respect that accompanies that. All the professors at University of Delhi live on campus, at least the vast majority of them, and so that means that oftentimes classes would be held at the professors' houses, um, out in their gardens, we'd sit and, and drink tea for hours on end. <laughs> it's a lifestyle change no matter what, exactly. it's just depending on what lifestyle you get put into. Because I lived in an international dorm where so many people from different countries, I wasn't just learning about Japanese culture, I was learning about so many different cultures. We had guest speakers from Gucci, Calvin Klein, and those really big brand names in it. You will make friends for a lifetime. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's true though. You get so many connections from so many people like around the world that you don't know like wherever they might end up. Everyone just says they do not regret it, without a doubt. In my opinion, it almost doesn't matter where you go as long as you go. It offers you a unique perspective in the classroom that, that to be honest, gives you a bit of an upper hand. Once you come back, you're going to have this thing called a travel bug. Yeah. And you always <laughs> want to continue to go abroad. You put yourself out there like that once and you learn how challenging and how valuable kind of the return is, you never hesitate to do it again.